all right hello everybody and welcome i am cassis plays and today we are checking out this game called best month ever uh just released today at the time of posting this so it's it's a game about uh, i believe a few characters uh where you have dialogue choices and things like that uh it's more of like a down-to-earth just real life simulator from my understanding um but there's also i forget if i said this but there's about nine different endings uh different options that you can choose now there was a warning at the beginning of the game uh that there's some of these subjects in the game might be a little bit touchy so just as a warning for that um there's probably you know some heavy subjects the game is gonna touch but with that said i wanted to check it out um i did get this game through keymailer so thank you to whoever from the developers or publishers that actually I uh, gave those keys out. I appreciate it. And yeah, that's pretty much all I really know other than it, it looked interesting. And we're going to go right into the first character or was a however this kid. works. The year Uncle Sam got his ass kicked. The young told the old, fuck off. The year when people looked at the earth from a new perspective. The year I found out what it means to be a grown up. I was eight then. My mom worked during the day and studied at night. She was determined to give us a better future. I learned how to take care of myself because I didn't want to be a burden to her. We didn't know much about each other then. She didn't say much and I didn't ask. But it all changed that summer of 69. Mom found out she didn't have much time left. That's when she told me we'd have to find a new home. She didn't mention it was only for me. Taking a second to load here. <laughs> So it looks like the year is 69. Nice. Uncle Hut Steiner. Wait for me in the car. Will it be long, Mom? Explain your goal. Placate the boy. Depends how long it takes to convince Mr. Hut to pay me. I don't like him. Nobody does. Righteousness, confidence, like relations. No, huh. baby. Gotta do this alone. Mitch's character. Game choices change Mitch's pers personal characteristics. The combination of these traits will determine what kind of person Mitch will become as adult as an adult. Righteous determines Mitch's attitude towards the law and following rules. Confidence determines Mitch uh Self-assuredness. Relations describe Mitch's attitude towards other people. Sweet. Okay. That's kind of cool. Kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh, like, Clementine. Clementine will remember that. I need to go back and play those, those uh, games someday. Good to see you, honey bunch. Got your days mixed up? It's my shift today. Be direct, talk to the waitress, talk to the old man. I came to say goodbye, buddy. What? You're leaving? I want to spend more time with my kid. Something happened? No, I just feel like I don't even know who he is. Boss around? In the can. With a girly mag? It'll be a while, sweetie. Oh, I'm out of time. You know, you can't mess with Hut when he's reading. But you can give it a shot. Let's try to. 
Knock, knock. Hey, guys. Can't you see? I can see, hear, and smell. Talk? Who would this talk to? Oh, I guess those people. Yeah, let's try talking to the old man, I guess. Mom really dug Alvin. The war messed him up a bit, and he ended up like most of the vets in a dive bar. So you're leaving us then? How'd you guess? Your eyes, they're already gone. I'm gonna miss you, old timer. I'll miss you too. Thanks. Can you help me out, Betty? Sure. What's up? The boss owes me 85 bucks. Overtime? Yeah, can you take it out of the register? No, I can't do that. Press on or back off. Okay, I'll wait till he's out of the can. Mom never waited for anything. <laughs> Mom never waited for anything. Wyatt and Billy, the bikers. When not hogging the road, they sit here, bending the elbow and hitting on waitresses. I wanted to be like them. Hi, Louise. Did I hear it right you're quitting? Yeah. What's next? Yeah. Uh, tell the truth. I gotta take care of my business. Sounds serious. Because a hut? More serious. I gotta find a home for my son. Yeah, that's heavy. Good luck, Lou. Thanks. Okay, so we just wasted, all, or well, Boring. talking to everybody to waste some time. Turn the radio on. Exit. I can get out the car. He's <laughs> so small. I barely remember Hut, Mom's boss, but I can still see his red car. Grab money. Turn the money. Uh, yeah, we'll be a nice guy. Oh, thanks. You're a good boy. Take care of your mother. She'll need it. What? Take my word. For oh, whoops. Oh, oh, almost forgot. Got something for you. A lighter. Two nineteen nineteen forty five. I click to open it. Oh, I didn't see. You don't even see that. I hope it comes in handy on your trip. U.S. Army. So cool. Thanks. All the important decisions Mitch makes in his dialogue will shape his personality. Go find your mother. Okay. So. Let's see if we can get inside. Look through the window. What the hell are you still doing here? You don't work here no more. Mind about do pay? Demand do pay? Oh. You 
me for the last two weeks. I owe you? Okay, let's talk. Game kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Road 96, too. Uh, here we are. What were we talking about? Right, about you owing me a hundred and fifty. The sound design's really good. I owe you nothing. That's how much your quitting cost me. None of my business. I want my 85 bucks. That's the spirit, honey. I have no time. I need this money. What if I chip in an extra 65 to go with your 85? Would you find the time? What is this? Wait, confidence? All I want is what you owe me. What a pity. Your lack of ambition won't get you very far. No. Good dough, Mr. Hutt. How about 200? No thanks. Just pay for my work. You're making me mad, honey. I know your type. Playing hard to get, but really, you put out for anyone, anywhere. Right then, I only wanted my mom to get out of there. Then you're birthing those little bastards nobody wants. Your choice, but you still owe me $150. Don't get provoked. Are you done? Then please give me my pay. Fine. Last chance. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Jeez. Old revenge, hot revenge. Uh huh. Wait, what's the righteousness, confidence, relations? So we'll lose relations, but we'll gain righteousness or we can gain confidence and lose righteousness 250 do this one yeah i told you what cold you revenge oh god what is about to happen oh no kid get out of there kid get away What the heck? Like For starters, come over here. I've got a better idea. Let's play Take the Sucker's Clothes. You slut! <laughs> Jeez, why is the music so loud? All right, there we go. Ah, uh, it's a little too low now. <laughs> what you doing, Take 85, clean out the register. Now we'll take 85. Mr. Hub will kill me for that. He's going to be busy for a bit. Give her ten dollars, put the money back. Keep the money. Let's give her ten dollars. Here's a ten spot to chill you out. You fucking bitch! <laughs> I'll fuck you up. Ah yes. Oh sh oh god. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of my joint! Hey, why? Is it just me, or is Fatso asking for me? Nah, Billy. It's not just you. Keep on trucking, Louise. Thanks. Nice. The biker guy's helping out. Nobody wants 
Is he holding the lighter? What? No, sweetheart. Hut is a bad man and he's talking nonsense. But his karma just caught up with him. What's karma? Oh god. I'll tell you later. Where'd you get this lighter? It's Iwo Jima. Got it from Alvin. Can I borrow it for a sec? Oh god, are we gonna light the place on fire? Okay. No way. Oh my god, we're setting his car on fire. Well, there's definitely a good reason to run. I don't know if I would Rich, call all I this <laughs> cold revenge. Damn! Best month ever. Well, now I see why it's called best month ever. I was wondering the name. You know, it's a little weird if you search best month ever. There's a lot of stuff that comes up. <laughs> it's a very uh, common phrase, though. But cool. Okay. Very curious to see where all the... Um, the different dialogue options that we get and things like that as the game progresses should be a fun time the game does take a little bit to load for whatever reason okay so we're going back in time 1961 This game also reminds me a little bit of uh, 12 Minutes, which was pretty fun. Apologize to Grandpa Elijah this instant, Louise. You scared him half to death. Great. I hope he dies. What is this? Whoa. Provoke, slap back, walk away. No wonder Dad ran away from you. Oof. You'll never see me again. One day you'll beg me to take you back. Get wrecked, lady. Nineteen sixty nine. Oh, okay, so that's when she left. Later, mom told me coming back home was the stupidest idea she'd ever had. The house is oh, I see, I see, for? okay. What if they don't live here anymore? Or what if she doesn't live here anymore? Knock, Hi. knock. You must be Butch. And who are you? The police? The police? Family, provoke. Louise, I'm why would, Monty. Why would you provoke the kid? I don't know you. <laughs> Is your mom around? Mom, some ants here. Louise? Joyful greeting, cautious Daddy, greeting. I miss you guys so much. Oh God, she reacted sorry, weird. Lou. My hands are messy. Sure, sorry for dropping in on you like this. And who's that? My son, Mitch. It's time he met his family. Say hello to your auntie and your cousin. Hello, auntie. A cousin? You lie. Why? Because he's colored. Answer reasonably, sarcastically. Uh, one's righteousness, and then one is relations. Wait, no. One is self-confidence. Oh, we'll do reasonably. What's the difference? You don't know? Gee whiz, Mom. Are they our family? Gee whiz. Come on in.
passing through. Tell the truth. No, I'd like to stay a while. Unfortunately, we've got guests already. I have no room for you. Kathy? Who's that? Some Louise, Granny. Oh boy. Granny. Uh oh. Louise. I knew you'd be back with your tail between your legs. Mitch, meet Granny. Hello, Granny. Where's your daddy? Did he leave you, poor child? It runs in the family. Um, Louise wants to stay with us. But it's not the best time, right? It couldn't have worked out better. But maybe we shouldn't decide until Grandpa's back from his walk. Suit yourself. What was your name again, kid? It's Mitch, Granny. Don't you Granny me. Just Margaret, if you must. Understood? Can I say that too? <laughs> Boys, uh, go and play outside. Just like old times, Mom making a pie with her daughters. You learned how to make a pie. No, but I can show you where the flour is. Okay. Well, she seems all right. She seems okay can with you this. Do that. Your turn. To lift it up. Oh god, are we gonna have a quick time event? I saw in the menu there's quick time events. Not strong My dad enough. Was in the Marines, and you know what he said about the blacks? Can't wait to hear it. He said the blacks are strong and dumb, but you're not even strong. Push, butch, or insult, bush, butch. Oh my god. Um. Well, this gives you a plus for righteousness. Or no, confidence or minus in relations. Back off or I'll mess you up. But you can't throw I'm going to stop them. looking up here and just make my decisions more. <laughs> Come on, your turn. Oh, God. Nice. Can you hit the same spot as me? We aim for the oil can. Piece of cake. I start. Is he gonna hit it? Nice. Lucky shot. Oh, he hit the window. Oh, God. Oh, God. Butch, Mitch, where the hell are you? Don't tell her it was me. Negotiate. Uh, okay, I don't want to stay here anyway. Yeah, we'll agree with them. Come out. She found us. Who broke the window? What's going on? Come on, spill it. Butch, or yeah, I'm gonna say it was Butch. Butch did. Back to your room and not a peep until dinner. Grandpa will punish you when he gets back. Lou, can we talk? <laughs> I told him I wouldn't tell, but I did anyways. I'm surprised that didn't break down relations. Please, 
let Mitch take the blame. What? Are you nuts? You know how harsh grams can get with kids. I'll figure out a way for you to stay with us for a while. What? Yeah. No. Why should my son take the blame for yours? You don't understand. When Rick died, Butch became... I don't know. He misses his father terribly. It's not his fault. Please. Uh... Yeah, but that's sacrificing my own. Why should my son take the blame for yours? You haven't changed a bit. I hope Grandpa kicks you out before nightfall. Oof. Lou, can you help me with something upstairs? Don't let them use you. I saw everything through the window. What did you see? Butch throwing a rock through the window. We know. He confessed already. But Grandpa doesn't know. We'll tell him when he gets back. Perhaps. But Kathy will do anything to keep Butch out of this. But you can tell the truth. I don't know. I just want for us to get along. Mm -hmm. Go to your boy. That's surprising. He's playing in Butch's room. I almost figured it would be the opposite, where Margaret would be the uh, the annoying one about it, being like, "Oh, just tell us your son that did it." Oh no, 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 no! I don't think I was supposed to go down. Well, we go back up. Kathy's room. Oh, maybe I was supposed to go down. Go back down then. I can't do uh, I'm confused. I'm looking at a book. Okay. Always loaded in case some communist showed up at their doorstep. <laughs> that house was all they had were memories. This is a photo of grandfather's family just after having arrived to the States from Poland. They turned more American than Americans. Grandpa's almost here. Go upstairs and call the boys for dinner. Wait, were they in Kathy's room? Oh, I guess they were in their room playing. Or were they in Butch's room? Oh my god, what the hell? That was so loud. That was so loud. That was honestly, like, terrifying. Holy crap. The audio is, is nice at times, but some areas it's, like, a little bit odd. Talk to Mitch. Hmm. That's not how I remember that room. I guess all he plays is war. Boys always play war. Right. And then you perish in war. Like Butch's dad? Yes. Like my dad? <laughs> no, sweetheart. Your dad went missing in action in peacetime. Will he ever be found? Butch has some cool posters. Look. I ignore the question. Be like, I don't know. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. The last girl. Mysterious murder. It's on the wall. Oh, the wallpaper. Oh. 
I don't know, that's a little creepy. <laughs> 1951. What if he's not lying? I'm just craving attention. My father would never allow such disgrace. Oh, how many times do I have to listen to what your father wouldn't allow? We live in his house. That's exactly our problem. I don't want them to argue. You shouldn't have lied about Father Judah. It wasn't a lie. One day, Daddy will leave us because of your lies, or Grandpa will kick him out. Why is Butch so nervous? It's just a window. Warn about this family suggests taking the blame. Let's warn right. about it. But don't let them talk you into taking the blame. Come on, Mom. I'm not a knucklehead. Anyhow, how do you like it here? Do you want to stay longer? Do you? Yes. I want to be where you are. Louise, Grandpa's back. Roll call time. Come on. Roll call? Roll call. Yep. Come meet your great-grandfather. Oh, God. I could see how that house was changing her, and not for the better. It was far worse than the sickness which was eating her from inside. I was dreading what would happen if she decided to stay there, and I wanted to go away. But more attractions were still to come. Oh, God. We're doing pretty good on all these, actually. Enough! Enough of the story! You've cracked this for two years and still can't say in fuel. That's when I am I should have taken the blame for breaking the window and that we needed to get out of there. Grandpa, can Mitch play? L Louise? Mitch? That kid can play a fiddle. Answer with confidence? Better than Fatso, for sure. Oh! Mitch! Oh! <laughs> oh! Fresh just like this morning. That's not what I expected. Maybe we should start dinner. No, no. Let me show what we've got. Can you get any worse? Can you? Amazing. Louis. Amazing. You've grown. Is this gifted boy your son? Apologize to Father Judah for your lies this instant. But it's all true, Mommy. Do we really have to do it this way? If you can't take care of this, I will. No need. Kids make things up sometimes. And let us live in this truth. Why does it keep your oh, it's right there. Um, what was it you were trying to tell me earlier, Kathy? Uh, the boys were playing and the window got broken. Broken by itself? I mean, Louise, perhaps you know which boy broke the window? Mitch, Butch. Uh, Butch did. It was Butch. 
not quite. They both broke it. But it was Butch who threw the rock. This makes no sense. He's never done that before. Because it was Aren't an you accident. Say something, Mom? You saw the whole thing. I only heard Mitch say throw it. <laughs> a wolf hunt in mad house. <laughs> Just replace the glass cause it's struck. Let's see if we get him to call. Enjoy. This may not be the best time, Grandpa, but can we talk? No time like now. I'll get to the point then. Can my son and I stay here a while? Does he know how to read? His name is Mitch, and yes, he can read. Take the whole book. It's on the table. But I'm supposed to do the reading. Mitch is our guest, sweetheart. I guess if he can, like, on your stool so we can all see you. Grandpa. Quiet. Okay. If he can do these tasks, I guess he's like okay with it. Eleven. He's so kind and cuddly, this cloud boy. Father, give me the share of the estate I have coming to me. Not many days later, the younger son gathered together all he had and traveled to a distant country where he squandered his estate in foolish living. After he had spent everything, a severe famine struck that country. Enough. Do you know what's that about, Pete? About the prodigal son? Damn, this kid's smart. Most important thing. See. Louis, I'm happy you have found your way home. So am I. I but? was the only one who wasn't happy. Welcome back home, my little girl. Mom, can I have a black cousin? I'm not done yet. It was God's will for Lou to return to us, right, Lou? I guess so. It's also his will that we share this moment with our good family friend. The same who has been with us for 30 years. The same whom you wronged so terribly. What are you playing, Louise? House. Oh, Can God. I play with you? Mmm, yummy candy. Want some? Don't trust. No, because you already ate it, Father. When we're alone, you can call me Uncle Judd. There's more in my pocket, but I need your help. Can you help me get it out? Oh, God. Apologize to Father Judah for your life. Say you made it up and rejoin your family. Hell no. Nope. The whole family. So Mitch can stay here. Apologize for what Father did to you. Everybody expects me to apologize. I understand this is the condition for me to be part of this family. Better now than never, Lou. Father Judah, will you accept my apology? Only if you feel compelled. I apologize that as an eight-year-old, I didn't let you touch me. That I bit your finger when you put it under my dress. 
that I scratched your face when your hand... Wait! Mom, I'm sorry I told you about this. I thought you'd help me. Not for the bits. I apologize to you too, Grandpa Elijah. That the fear of you made me pee in my panties. And to you, Kathy, that you had to change my panties in secret. Dinner, it's over! Out of here, Judah. Sit down, I'm not done yet. Oh, God. Oh! Luis, put the weapon down. This took a turn. I'd like to hear your confession. You're frightening your own son. Mom! Shoot the family portrait, put the gun down. Truth prevails, thank God. I'm sorry, Louise. Father Judah has touched me too, and did other things far worse. But I was afraid that if I told the truth, they would all hate me just like you. I am shocked, Judah. You knew about this, you all knew. You are crazy. I went crazy long ago. Now, confess, Uncle Dud, you still have candy in your pocket, don't ya? Mom, was it wrong for me to take candy from Uncle Judd? You gave candy to my little boy? Give it to me. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh! Kathy, let go. I'll take that. Let's go, Mitch. The visit is over. Holy... Why is their footsteps so loud? <laughs> Mitch, quick! Oh my god, we are gonna have so many cops after us. We burned somebody's car down. We've like is she gonna apologize? She might apologize. I didn't have the opportunity earlier, so now it's probably our last chance. Dad's been looking for you. What? I'm sorry, I didn't say anything before. He left his address. Find him. I've never had the luck. Take care of yourself, Cat. Five Roosevelt Street. Drive fast. We'll say it's Hope, you, Texas. I didn't see the priest getting hit by the bullet. Just some blood on the floor. Damn. The game's a little bit slow at times, but overall it's 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 interesting. It's definitely like unique. We drove in silence for a long time. Perhaps the middle of a forest is not the safest place to spend the night, but at least it was quiet and nobody around. I'm sorry, kid. I don't know how to explain all this to you. All right, chat. I'm going to, well, all right, everybody, <laughs> not chat because I'm not live, but I'm going to chill here for now. So if you did enjoy this video, definitely leave a like. Uh, and subscribe for more and maybe we'll have a part two out i probably will record one uh because i kind of want to see where it keeps going but for now i'll see you guys next time peace out stay safe and uh goodbye